What up, YouTube? It's your boy King Pookie coming to the house talking about the Chicago Bears. So today we got some bad news that we didn't want to hear. So they finally made the decision. The Maskaskis made a decision what they're gonna do with Mad Aggie and Ryan Pace. Um, there's some good news and there's some bad news. The good news is that Chuck Pagano is gonna retire, and the bad news is. They're going to bring back Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy next year. I mean, um, the rumor was that they were going to, that Ted Phillips was going to retire. And, you know, and uh, I mean, after hearing the press conference, just hurting me, you know. Like, they were just giving the praising Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace that they did a good job. That we made it to the playoffs. That, you know. We didn't even deserve to make it to the playoffs. We needed help from another team to get in the playoffs. If it wasn't like last year, we wouldn't even have been in the playoffs. And you know what? We had the same damn record as last year. Eight and eight. We just got lucky, you know, that the NFL made changes in the playoff, you know, playoffs of this year. So, but Ted Phillips. I'm going to give you the rest of his resume. He was his, with the Bears for 21 seasons. He has 20, we had 24 different starting quarterbacks. 15 times we were below 500. 13, we were third and last place in the division. Um, we were um, 10. 10 seasons with a losing record, uh, 6 playoff appearances, and 5 divisional championships, and 3 playoff wins, and 1 Super Bowl appearance, and 0, uh, zero Super Bowls, you know. Uh, our goal is to make it to the Super Bowl every year. You know what? We... There's three keys. You beat the Green Bay Packers, win the division, and make it the Super Bowl. And I'm talking about winning the damn Super Bowl. We haven't even had a chance. We had a chance to make it the Super Bowl, and we blew it. You know, um, so, I mean, I mean, Ted Phillips, I know the he's friends with the Metcaskies, and, you know, George McKenzie, you ruined this organization. Your fam, your family has ruined this team. You know, um, George Hallis is is probably rolling in his grave, saying, "What are you to have done to my organization? You have ruined the team." Michael McKenzie has ruined the Bears, and then you know, and you know, they finally pass it on your Virginia passes to George McKenzie. And, you know, totally ruined everything, you know, um, bringing Ryan Pace. And do you really trust Ryan Pace to draft another quarterback? Do you really trust him to, you know, to, um, to make another draft move, you know? Um, I'm, I'm guessing that he's probably going to give away our draft picks and try to erase this this thing would, you know, his mistake, you know, um, getting, you know, missing out, um, not picking Deshaun Watson or Patrick Mahomes, trying to erase his mistake, you know, it's not, you know, it's not going to happen. And plus, you know, um, Deshaun Watson, he, he was with the, uh, Texans and they were an awful team, you know, he's probably like damaged goods, you know, how, how do you even know he's going to, do good with the Bears. We look at, we couldn't learn what, you know, uh, we got um, Nick Foles, you know. Just because he won a damn Super Bowl with Philadelphia, you know, you decided that, you know, he could probably help us win a Super Bowl. And you know what? We got bit. We lost six games in a damn row because of him. And you know what? That was Matt Nagy's band. Because he wanted, you know, he took out Mitch Biscuit way too early in the season. And you know what? We were six game losing streak. And you know, 
I know they were saying we were five and one in the beginning of the season, but they had five and one. We were beating teams that were sucky. They had the that had awful defense and then they had a awful record. You know, um, you know. Uh, so now you know, you know, Mitch Trubisky. You put Mitch Trubisky back in there, and you know we beat um, the Vikings. And then we go to the, and then we beat the, the Jaguars, the Jaguars, the one, you know, the second team with the worst record in the, in the division. I don't know, well, it used to be the Jets, but they ruined it, you know. So now it's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Then now they're gonna get um, Trevor Lawrence. You know, the Jets blew it, man. I don't know now they gave you know they were tanking for Trevor Lawrence. You know, so now because they la beat the Los Angeles Rams and they also beat um they beat uh, some uh, the Jets beat uh, another team uh, team and the Brown was the Clifford Browns was it yeah um yeah and so now the Jaguars and get the Trevor Lawrence you know and um so but you know after hearing this. Press conference heard it, Chicago Bears fans. Cause you don't, Michael, the McCaskey fans, you don't give a damn about the fans at all. You just care about making money and that's it, you know. And you give a damn excuses, you know, saying that, um, yeah, that people are saying that they should be firing somebody, but you don't want to be a team that keeps. Firing coaches like left and right. How about if you bring somebody that could beat the Green Bay Packers? Because as I said, you were brought into this team to beat the Green Bay Packers to win the division and make it to the Super Bowl. And how about this? How about you not make you know you could make it to the Super Bowl? How about you win the Super Bowl? How about that? And you know, you know. Why do you even own the team? Isn't your whole, I mean, your goal to make it to the Super Bowl, you know, every year, you know? And seriously, I don't think you don't care what the sports media thinks about you because, you know what, Rex Ryan, he made fun of the Chicago Bears and he said that his defense could not hold the jockstrap of the 85 Bears, you know, you know. And Chubb Gunner has ruined this defensive, you know. It was, we had the best defense until we lost Vic Viangelo. So, um, now you're going to bring somebody into the uh, organization. We don't know if he's going to, you know, bring back uh, this defense. And, you know, this defense could be a little different next year, you know. And a lot of these guys are getting older, and, you know. Um, the window is closing, you know, so, um, but I don't know, the rumor was, was, um, bringing Lovey Smith, that was one of the rumors, but why would you want to bring in somebody back from the past, you know, that doesn't look good, you know, you know, just because you're friends with, with Lovey Smith, or uh, you're friends with, um, with, um, um, Matt Nagy and, Run pace, they're gonna, they're not helping you win games, and they're not, they're ruining your business, you know. Um, so uh, I don't mean we're gonna have the same damn record as we like we had this this year, you know. We were eight and eight last year, and this year we were eight, and eight, and it's gonna happen next year, you know, if we keep Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy. And you know what? It's still open to grabs what they're gonna do with Mitch Trubisky. You know, are they gonna keep him? I hope to God they don't. You know, I think it's time. It's time to let him go. You know, he. You know, he had so many chances. You know, so many damn chances, and he never. And he blew it. You know, and it's time to cut ties with him. You know. And you know, I know we made the best mistake of drafting him number two. And you know, and how about this run pace? Don't draft somebody from a 
a basketball organization like North Carolina, you know, I mean, the New York Yank, the New York Giants, I mean, I'm, excuse me, the New York Giants, they got, um, what's the, um, what's their quarterback from Duke University, and Duke University is known for basketball, not football, Danny Dimes, yeah, I'm so, I mean, so, let me know what you think, leave me a comment below, give me a huge thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join the King Pookie Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video, because I'm going to be just talking about WandaVision, so, but, we'll see, for the Bears season, with, you know, 2021, but I'm definitely going to make, you know, video for the, for the draft, so, but, yeah, 2020 sucked, so, yeah, this is King Pookie, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.